Well, welcome to Video School with CCTV Celestial Watchers. And what we're going to go through this week is filtering and batch filing, video creation, bonus sound creations, and tools, free apps, and more. Okay, guys, you ready? So, <clears throat> I put this together for the front of my video. This is my first one. I've never done a school before. I've never filtered before. I didn't go to school to learn how to filter or make videos at all. I learned on uh, tutorials and reading PDF files. And that's how you learn. But anyways, up here is a little preview. A little preview of what we're going to do here. So let's get going. And it's Monday morning. It's 5-31-2020. I started doing this in five, uh, 6 one I started doing this. 2017 of June. 6 one June. Let's go to school. Now that I know my voice is heard. I'm going to take you back to the beginning of what I'm going to teach you here. And here we go. This is the file. It's a 531-2020 Monday show, which is today. Welcome to video school, right? And so what I did was, I when I first when I did the first two versions of this, I, uh, <laughs> I didn't have my sound right. So now I do. Anyways, I'm going to take all these files and we're going to batch file them. We're going to filter them. On the second video of this series... I will be telling you what the filters are because this first video I'm going to put it out as an example. So if you want to know what the filters are on all my equipment, that will be on my second uh, video course. I mean this video course for my second part two, my second version of it. Anyways, got a little music in the background, it's all about atmosphere and um, here we go. Hopefully I'm recording this, no problem, yeah. Hopefully my sound's working pretty good. So what I picked up was these pictures in um, Acapulco. Another location was Cristo. Right here, Cristo. And I, I picked up single pictures because the cams are down, but I went through the history. So I'll teach you more about that on another video on how to capture great stuff that nobody can find. Uh, I'll teach you those, some of those tricks and tips and secrets. So we've got this picture here, <clears throat> and you got to remember one thing when you're filtering people that the um, that the colors are noise, they're sounds, they're frequencies. So when it says noise reduction or grain reduction, grainy reduction is kind of the same, but not. The noise is all that little black squarey stuff patterns right so I'm gonna try to reduce that to where it's just the blue skies so noise comes in like white black and then you have color noise and so uh, I've learned all this in the last probably three months anyways you reduce that color noise sometimes it makes the black noise increase sometimes it don't um, you don't want to use too much noise because it takes away definition and sharpness so this is a very foggy sky in Acapulco the radius is just going to give it a, a stronger band. You can always undo the noise if you don't like it. You know, dehazing is basically taking away the fog of the chemtrails, as we call them, too. We know there's chemtrails. See how foggy it is? And this is the first picture of the whole file. So whatever I do on this one picture, then it's going to reflect on all the pictures. If some of them won't look that great, so I'll have to do some adjustments to them, and I'll show you how to do that. So, you, you know, your first picture is going to be your um, most important picture in this whole file. So it's like your anchor. So you're up here on top, you can't see it because of the way the recorder is, but um, on top there is a forward and backward button. I'll, show, I'll figure out how to, so you guys can see that part of it. Um, anyways, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. You guys see what's on my desktop. I don't care. I'm not hiding nothing. I got no porno. You knew, knew. Anyways, um, so in this school, 
we're just going to take our time and get this first picture perfect. You'll see why, because it's going to be a real big time saver, which I didn't know any of this until later, but um, I would sit there and do manually each picture and put together a slow-mo. Out of all of that, I learned how to do things a lot quicker. So remember your noise is a frequency. So talking about noise, you see how I have the music in the background? It gives it a certain atmosphere, right? Well, you, I gotta say this, if you have ears to hear this, noises, sounds are all the same. Frequencies, noises, sound, colors are all the same. So you gotta get your colors. And this is very uh, mystical, like I would imagine someone playing a flute on the rocks. So I kind of adjust my atmosphere for the video. Now I'm doing a training video for you. But you can still pick up the atmosphere. You look at the colors. Now on this white right here, see I use the clarity in the white right here and make things too bright. So sometimes I reduce the white down. Because the sun is already too white anyways. Um, I think I got a planet underneath this first picture. A red planet, but we'll see. And I think that planet, if I'm not mistaken, it will actually um, set more over here somewhere, where the normal sun will set over here. So, but here's a split shot of before and after, night and day. But you see how it brings the color out. And so, if you use the autocorrect only, it'll bring the color out, but you'll still get the fog. Um, Contrast could do wonders to your clouds. If you use it conservative or extreme, you can make some really good captures out of stuff that you can't see. So don't ever throw a contrast away. Always use contrast. And it darkens up your picture in most cases. You see the difference? Okay, that's going to be the difference in the quality of your video, because um, I haven't found an editor, a video editor yet, that will give me this quality as these filters do, which you will get all my tools on the second video. So thank you for subscribing, thank you for being a member. Uh, you guys are going to get badges, I don't understand all the membership stuff yet, but I will. Um, I don't even know where the landing page is, if there's one. Um, I'm still trying to figure that out. <laughs> but like this is all new. I'm learning as I go. I, I never put up videos on YouTube, guys. So, now I also have a filter on here, and I'll show you some of that later, um, where I can circle the water and really make that crystal clear like a sea of glass. With the same exact colors, but it's just super clear, crystal clear. And we'll, we'll play around with that probably on the third video. But each one of these video clips are going to be 10 minutes long. There's no hurry. And uh, I'll tell you on the next video. Um, one, of the, one of the products you can go get right now is Bandicam. Um, I'll show you a picture of that in a second. I'll just show you a picture of that right now. Okay. Now this was, I made this right here out of my editor. Out of the filter editor. Um, bandy cam. Sit down here. Here's your bandy cam, guys. It's free product. No biggie. See, I'm, I'm running it at 1920 by 1080, and I've, I learned this by did. I'm learning more about the 1080p pixels. Um, basically enlarging your screen. Even though I won't use this whole thing I'm screening here, I could cut it down but it gives me the quality on YouTube otherwise YouTube don't recognize the quality so keep that in mind now I have I'm doing this with no headset on this this one and then the next one I'm gonna do it on with the headset see the difference so I'm showing you over there just uh, what I'm doing the end of that video that's the first lesson um, it's batch filing So what I'm going to do is I took that first picture I'm doing and um, is I'm batch filing it.